Destination know. Vacation, sponsored by Holiday Tours. Blister bug? I... Pepper, pepper patch. patch. Okay, I don't know. Okay. If you're into all things weird, we've got the thing for you to check out. So, why are you pointing at me? There's a cryptozoology <laughs> and paranormal museum about an hour and a half north of Raleigh. CBS 17 Somalia Roy takes us to Halifax County in this week's destination vacation. Bigfoot, ghosts, and UFOs, oh my. The Cryptozoology and Paranormal Museum in Littleton is dedicated to the unknown and the hard to explain. Even if you're just mildly interested, you can come in for the entertainment factor. Steven Barcelo says he moved to Littleton to escape the high New York prices and semi-retire. The former New York Daily News journalist says reports of strange animal sightings and paranormal activity prompted him to open the museum in 2016. We have people that come here that are very interested. This is their realm. They, uh, we've been on the bucket list of things they wanted to uh, uh, get. The scientific community considers cryptozoology, the study of creatures like Bigfoot and the Loch Ness Monster, to be pseudoscience. But Stephen and his staff offer visitors the opportunity to investigate these phenomena on their own. They don't only bring their findings to you, you also have the chance to go on your very own Bigfoot expedition. Stephen says Mount Medoc in Halifax County is George teeming with Bigfoot activity, here. and he takes visitors through the trails fully equipped. So some of the equipment we use here, obviously we're using the thermal cameras or the, the biggest thing we're using, parabolic dish, so we can listen to sounds out there off in the distance. This is a pretty inexpensive one, but it works well. Right. Of some sort. And George Nikowski says he found Stephen's museum while looking for something to do during the pandemic, and he's been hooked ever since. So I went there. Got a map, said, where do they have all these sightings? And fortunately, I actually had my first footprint the first day I went out, and I went down the rabbit hole after that and been friends with Steve for the last couple years. I don't know if that thing will focus through in there. These tours don't guarantee a Bigfoot sighting, but they offer a chance for people to get outside and learn something new. In Littleton, Amalia Roy, CBS 17 News.